Hello, my name is uh, Linda Tilkvist and I'm from Denmark. I have four horses and I have been working them according to Art to Ride for 20 months now. The horse on this video is my nine-year-old mare called Amaze. Amaze has kissing spine uh, just behind the wither. And on the short side, when you see her from the side, you will be able to see a big dip uh, just in that area. So here I'm doing some work in hand. Uh, and what I'm trying to do is to get a maze to stretch and move actively forward at the same time. A maze is stretching most of the time, but when she doesn't, I ask her to step over or I ask her to move more forward. And here she lifts her head and uh, I try to ask her to step over. And then she begins to stretch again. I need her to stretch and step deeply under herself at the same time to get her to begin to lift her back. And uh, Amaze uh, finds it difficult when I ask her to step over. And as you can see here in a moment, uh, she lifts her head often when, when I do so. She is quite difficult to get to work correctly. Uh, instead of stepping under, she will try to bend her neck or she will uh, stretch and by that get longer reins and then she will turn her head to the outside and her hind end to the inside. And she will do that to try to avoid stepping under herself. So I'll try to keep the contact on the outside rein and then uh, with the whip I will ask her to step over. And usually it's easier to get that done on the circle but this particular day I wanted to see if I could get a better flow, so I tried to work her on more straight lines and instead asking for leg yields and shoulder in. The stepping under and stretching of the neck is what's needed for the horse to begin to develop its back and by that begins to work over its back. So I need for this horse to stretch all the way to the ground and in the same time have her to work actively forward and it's the only way that I can get her to lift her back just behind the wither and that will take quite some time for happen because I'm still not able to keep her active enough. She has to step more under before she will be able to really begin to lift her back just behind the wither. So here she's stretching nicely and she kind of looks like she's a little more active. But yeah, then it's like she's losing the activity again. And here I try to push her a little. And now I'm asking for shoulder in and she often starts with lifting her head but then she will begin to stretch which is uh, the response I want. So here she's stretching nicely and she looks supple in her neck and she looks uh, relaxed. But then she loses her concentration and looks around and when she does that I try to use the whip to see if I can get her to focus on the work again. And 
I get her focus here. And again, I try to do a shoulder in, but here she bends her neck too much and she avoids stepping under herself. She begins to look really nice and she's stretching all the way to the ground and so I decide to end the work in hand session uh, with this. is the lunging session and uh, this uh, video was actually made just for me to see how Amaze and I were doing in general. Uh, it had been three months since we last videotaped her so it was mostly done to see how it looked uh, when I was uh, riding her. The work in hand and the lunging were just to warm her up a bit. Uh, I had to save some energy for the riding part. Now, I learned so much from seeing <coughs> the training on the vi video and this lunch session is not very good. Uh, I don't manage to uh, get her active enough. But here in the beginning with the walk, she is uh, she is doing okay. She is taking big steps and she is beginning to stretch. Um, so this work has some value to it. Now in this lunch session, uh, I used uh, side reins. And with her it's mainly because I want her to stay a little more straight so that I can push her and try to make her yield her hind without uh, her trying to uh, avoid that by bending her neck instead. And I want her to get used to stretch into the contact because that uh, will help me when I'm riding her. I keep the side rein so long that uh, she will be able to stretch all the way down. Oh, I th still think she's doing okay here in the walk. But um, in the moment when I want to make her trot, she is more inter interested in the neighbor's dog. And so she follows and she won't move forward um, and before she would have stopped and I wouldn't have been able to move her but uh, at least I can do that now so we try the trot again and she's uh, still 
more interested in the surroundings instead of me and the work. But I try to just keep asking her to, to move forward. And so she will settle in, settle in in just a moment. And there she begins to relax and stretch. So when she do that, she's actually working quite nice. Um, but. I need her more forward before I will be able to get her to really push up through the back. And I have actually been working on that since I, I saw this uh, video. I don't know even if I'm standing in the middle and are looking at the horse, it's kind of differ different when uh, you see it on a video. Now, I'm also uh, working a little against my own mistakes from our past. I had a tendency to uh, let her work too slowly because when I tried to get her more active she would uh, explode. And in the beginning of this work I kind of accepted her to move slow because I was happy that she was stretching. Um, so I didn't have enough focus on uh, getting her to move forward at the same time. <coughs> and it's also easy to see with the source that uh, when she stretches, especially in the trot, she will try to, to slow down. And when I try to push her forward, she will lift her head and follow her back instead. But it's still better than it was in the beginning. So I'm thinking that a year from now, things will look a lot different, much better. And again here in the walk, she's uh, beginning to stretch and she takes big steps and again she would still need to be more active, look more active. Um, but it has been worse than this. Now she's more relaxed now uh, in the truck and then. Um, not looking so much at the surroundings and she's beginning to stretch really deep um, so if I had just pushed her a little more things would have looked different But it's okay, she's... Uh, the underside of her neck is completely supple. Um, she is using her abdominal muscles a little bit. Um, 
and in short moments it kind of she's beginning to bounce a little bit um, and those days when I'm actually getting her to move more forward it is uh, much more clearly uh, to see that and so this was uh, the lunging and now we are going to do some riding and here's the riding part when I started working her according to art to ride I spent the first year uh, working her from the ground Vets had told me that uh, she would never be a riding horse so she had a year of work or without any work before I started her and then this one year from the ground and in the beginning I mostly did this just to get her into a little better shape and be able to do something with her but at some point I thought that uh, I would give the riding a try and she used to try to get rid of me when I was trying to mount her and trying to ride her uh, but she haven't done that since all the work from the ground so when I ride her I just want her to take some big nice steps and I want her to stretch all the way down um, And our walk work is actually getting uh, quite nice and it's easier for me to keep her forward when I'm riding her compared to when I work her from the ground. And here she's stretching nicely and she's taking big steps and when she is working like that, she is just wonderful. Um, and when she lifts her head like that, I just try to push her forward, or like you see here, try to make her step a little over. And then usually she will begin to stretch right after that. So right here she's ah she's ah, she's uh, working okay she's still not completely consistent in the stretch but uh, I think in the walk we will get there really soon now I, I have to uh, try to every time she lifts her head I widen my hands so that I can keep the contact and when she stretches I just put my hands together again And I try to sit relaxed uh, and just have my legs hanging around her and following her movements. And here I'm doing a little leg yield. I want her to kind of just float into it. Now 
あっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあ But I will rather uh, try again than lose the rhythm. And she takes nice big steps here as well. So she's actually doing quite nice here. And so, this is what we do mostly when I'm riding her. This walk work. But today I wanted to try the trot um, and do a little more in the trot. And I think I do about, yeah, I should have stopped two minutes earlier or something. This uh, walk work is uh, really good to her and she's doing it uh, well. Now here I'm trying to do a shoulder in and what she tends to do is that she wants to bend her neck too much instead of stepping under herself. And I'm not really keeping the contact on the outside rein, so it actually makes make it easier for her to do that. <clears throat> and that's the main problem with her that she she will try to avoid avoid stepping under herself and you will see it more clearly when uh, we get to the trot work so i'm actually like this walk work it's uh, the best in in this uh, whole video and I do want to get to the point where she is uh, stretching all the way to the ground all the time so here you can see she tries to bend her neck again when uh, this horse is working over her back uh, she is really nice and she's so easy but uh, when she is not she's extremely difficult so it's easy for me to know if she's working over her back if she's not I actually get problems uh, Staring, steering, but, or don't know, uh, controlling her shoulders. Um, and she will kind of push me to the right side. And you will also see that happen in the trot. But when she is stretching and stepping under herself, uh, it's like she's getting really straight 
and I don't have problems with her shoulders or anything. She gets uh, easy to to sit on. So here we start the trot work and she is uh, fussing a bit around in the beginning and uh, she is kind of taking small steps uh, and not working over her back. Then she, in a moment, will begin to stretch, uh, but it's inconsistent. So I keep her on a circle to try to see if I can uh, get her to stretch and work more uh, relaxed. And so she is beginning here. And then she, she stumbles and it falls apart again. But now she is starting to, to stretch, so I try to ride her uh, out on the whole arena and try to make a little to see if I can get her to stretch and yes, it comes but as you can see it's inconsistent So here she's working really nice, stepping under, stretching, working over her back. And that's what I want to keep her doing all the time. And I think I'll get there in a few months, so at least more consistent than it is right now. So when she is uh, stretching and working forward and working over her back, uh, she is fantastic. To, or she is uh, really amazing to, to ride. But now you will see, oh, I lose my brain. Uh, here. Oh, not yet. But I do get some problems with um, controlling her shoulders. And here I'm actually, uh, I my girth is too loose. And because she is, um, she tends to kind of push my weight to the right when she's not working over her back. So the saddle slipped a little to the right. So I just let her walk for a moment before I try to trot again. And she is about to get tired here. 
so we try to try it again and uh, it's because I really wanted to see if I could just get a little more stretch out of her so I try to ask her by doing a shoulder in and here she begins to, to stretch Now it is quite difficult for her to work forward and stretch at the same time and with me on her back uh, it's not easier on her but I think she's doing really well. And I I do get some nice stretches here in, in the end. And This is nice, but she is losing her back and then I lose control of her shoulders. But it's kind of in and out of her working over her back. <coughs> So I thought that she had done well. And now she's getting a little tired, so it's a little more difficult for me to keep her moving uh, forward. Now oh, I always try to keep my uh, body relaxed while I'm riding um, and I try to um, keep my back straight which has been a huge problem to me. I have a tendency to look down and that makes it difficult for me to keep my balance, balance. Uh, but it's much better now um, and when the horse is working over the back it's much easier to sit correctly and really difficult when they are when they are not 
So here I struggle a little bit uh, by keeping her activity. And so we are also really close to to the end of this work. And I think she's done really well. This was uh, much work for her. But I'm really excited to see how she will develop. Uh, I think she's such a nice horse and I'm so happy that I'm actually able to to ride her a little bit now. Even though I'm only doing that maybe once, twice a week, mostly in the walk. And I think she's happy to be back in, in work. So this is the end and thank you for listening. Bye bye.